Alright, so I got three transition gear for Colorado. And basically, you're gonna take three of these and make one. Or two, it doesn't matter really. Um, this one works and this one works, this one doesn't. This one's out of an 05 Silverado from Pull Apart. I actually uh, bought this from Pull Apart and put in the 91 Silverado that we LS swapped. Um, and it has no third or fourth gear. So, this one is out of a 06 Silverado, or I'm sorry, GMC Sierra that we 4L80 e swapped. Um, it's four wheel drive though, and this truck obviously two wheel drive, so that's gonna have some change. We have to change some stuff on that and make it work. This one is the one out of the Colorado. Obviously, you can't use it because the bell housing, input shaft, and all that is different. So, we got a couple options here. We can convert this four wheel drive transmission to two wheel drive. We can rebuild that one with the parts that we have, or we can swap the input shaft, bell housing, and torque converter and all that out of this, uh, from like one of these two into this one. Um, but the amount of work you got to do to get, you know, change the input shaft and all that in this one, you got to tear it apart. Um, basically, you have one extra step just to make this one two-wheel drive. So I think what we're going to do here is just make this one two-wheel drive and use it. Now this one has about 200, 200 almost 250,000 miles on it. Colorado has 147,000. That one I have no idea, but that one obviously doesn't work. So, I think we're going to make this one two-wheel drive, maybe take some parts out of this one or that one to make this one two-wheel drive. So basically we're just going to swap the output, the output shaft out and slap in the collar and see what happens. Alright, so first things first, we're going to have to take this tail shaft off. PWM sonar right out. So the bell housing takes the torques plus it. And you're gonna to want to try and break these off, break these loose by hand first before you put an impact on them because it will really, it's tight and it will strip them.
our pump seal gas or retainer clip off. Unhook our band from the anchor anchor latch, just like that. All right, had a little bit of problems. This thing did not want to come out. It took me a while to get it, but I'll get that taken out. Basically, it's going to be a snap ring in here. You take that snap ring out, and this output shaft will come out. And then we can set this set mission aside and then take that one apart and swap, do the same thing, swap the input shafts. All right, so once you get your snap ring out, you take the end of your hammer and lightly tap. And there's your upper chair. Now, now that we got that out, we can set this aside and then do the exact same thing to that one and then we'll reassemble that one with the new upper shot. All right, we got the four wheel drive shaft out. Now we'll put in the two wheel drive one. Put the snap ring back in. Alright. Got the output shaft in. Now I'm going to put the little drum assembly and input back in here. Alright, and get that thud. It's a good indication that you're in. Alright, now we can put our new pump gasket. between the case and the bell housing and then we'll start the stick the bell housing back on
solenoids back in. Put our filter back in, put our pan back on, put our towel housing back on, and uh, that's pretty much it. Alright, so we got two wheel drive swap to four wheel drive, the four wheel drive swap to two wheel drive. Now we just gotta put it in the truck. 